<laughs> Andrew, well, one more thing that I just want to point out is, you know, in today's world, it's so high technology and people call communication, you know, being on social media, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and communicating that way. Even texting, like, I mean, it's appropriate now to actually text and say, do you mind if I call you in 15 minutes? I mean, I know, but that's where we are. I would like to just say to folks, you know, as the market starts to change, interest rates going up, fewer buyers, a lot of sellers, a lot of expired listings. This is perfect timing this for you to good, be teaching. This is the greatest thing I'm in the world. I'm just saying, y'all. Andrew Lacey, I want you to just really, I'm sure you're embracing what he's saying, saying, oh my gosh, I want i want to be that person. I want to be that person. That, they that, all can be. However, That's- all of them called people. They talked to people with their voice. It was not it's all, it- communicated. And we can't say, I did reach out. Did you call them? That's right. And just like I said. You call them every 60 days. Right. You don't send them seeds. You don't send them pumpkins. You don't send them a text. You don't send them a – you call. You know, people I, – I know today technology, they have people – they don't even have their own voice. And do you know the my every one of the top – and I've got – last year I had seven people that made over $750,000. That's awesome. Seven people. That's incredible. This year I will have – about 14. Wow. And it's because they got better. Exactly. They've gotten better. But effective communication. I could, I could spend the rest of my life talking <laughs> to you about call people. I, I, um, can I show them? Please. Now, don't, don't not come and see me because I show you this. <laughs> and, and don't think it's just because I'm old. But because I learned how to talk on this, somebody the other day took a picture of me in Palm Beach one of, one of my one of my entourage, one of my assistants was there, and they said, "Andrew, I think those people thought you went in a museum." <laughs> but you got to now. I'm going to tell you this story. I can give you eight people's names that they went. They kept their iPhone, but they put everything here their, for their business, their advertising, their, their signs. Every one of them increased their income over one hundred thousand dollars in a year. And it's, listen, when we grew up, you, in, you were, your attitude was either positive or negative. Mm-hmm. And today, in our world, you're still positive and negative, but you're either focused or distracted. Right. And when this goes off, your phone goes off 100 plus times a day. You know, I was doing a program last week, and I set my phone on a table, and it vibrated, and a person in the seminar picked my phone up. And I'm going, excuse me. I said, this is what y'all used to doing. Y'all used to hearing a phone go, and she picked up my own phone. I, can't. <laughs> I said, this, y'all can't help yourself. And, and I promise you this. When I do seminars, it makes me sad. I, I, I can't see, but I get, you know, you're back there doing texting when you should be focused. You're going to have that. I call it that seize the moment when you can mm-hmm. learn or you can help or you can change. But you can't do that when you're trying to do 10 things at one time. But. You, Michelle, there's one thing that I know. When a person is able, I'm, I'm trying to teach, I have a 20-year-old driver that has problems communicating. He's getting his real estate license, so I'm letting him work for me and come to seminars. But I said to him coming back from Palm Beach, I said, you have to learn how to talk. Mm-hmm. And, and we live in a world today where I think there's less talking. There this is. is why this is why the average agent last year that I that I worked with, we they averaged for the year forty nine point seven closings. That's, That's per incredible. Agent. That's all of them added together. Wow. Forty nine point seven. Even the new ones. Even the new ones. Yep. That's very 49, impressive. Forty nine that was the average. And and what they got better at was communicating. Mm-hmm. You know, technology people think I don't that I don't believe in tech. You're wrong. I believe in tech. I think technology is great. But in the end, it comes down. Can I help you get you on something? Exactly. And it comes down. Would you like to offer? Would you like, would you like to purchase a song? You can't text and say it. You say it right there to them. Mm-hmm. And you, you want to, I think in the handout, it says, speak to people, see to people. Every one of us has heard of STP, see to people, but it's speak to people. I spoke to a person in, in, at, a, at, at a Jay Alexander's a few years back, and he's found out he was the owner of a company in Virginia. And by me speaking to him at that restaurant that night and talking to him for five minutes, 
it generated more than a half a million dollars. My sir. Here in Atlanta, there's a guy named James Walton who spoke to a lady at a Dollar Tree on a Saturday morning here in Atlanta. And he he was dressed professionally, and they started talking, and she said, I have property. And he walked her out to the car, and I always tell you this, don't just give them your card. Get their number. Exactly. Because they might not call you back. Right. Then, and she didn't call him back. He called her. Now, it took a year because of a commercial piece of property. But by speaking to one person, his check was $54,000. Mm. By speaking to one person. By being and kind is, to somebody, and, by reaching oh, out. Oh, he is friendly. Right. James Walton, he's one of the kindest people in the world. But but you just, we, are, we now, people are just, they don't speak. They're to themselves. And part of that, and part of the opportunity right at this very moment with the market changing is to call and talk to your past clients and your sphere of influence about the market. And and Andrew, I just think that this, it's not just your scripts. It is the practicing. It's the overcoming of objections. It is a confidence that is raised. Because when people have confidence, oh. that's truly when we know that we can help you. We know that we can help you. You're not going to ask me a question that I can't answer. And Andrew, that's, that is the, it's not ammunition. It is the, it, it's really just every single thing thing that someone would need and it's not just about memorizing it but what what I think happens is when people start when, when people get started truly after a few weeks if they're really diving in they know all of that and then they see they start making calls they're working with people yep. and they see oh my goodness it's true no one has asked me anything that made me feel stupid or that I didn't respect their time it really is all here. When we say back to basics, I mean, this is the basics.